And today we're bringing you the beginning of a two-part list on corruption around the world. We're doing the 10 most perceived corrupt countries, 2022. Brought to you by Transparency International, a non-profit and non-governmental organization that categorizes and ranks 180 countries and territories around the world via their perceived levels of corruption. And the rankings go from 0 to 100. 0 equals most corrupt. 100 equals least corrupt, though no country has perfect scores of either a 100 or a 0, so now you know. And it's important to state that this is the perceived level of corruption. Because, well, because of the nature of corruption, you can never truly know how corrupt a place is. I mean, you can't walk up to a corrupt person and say, hey, uh, are you corrupt, yes or no? And they would never give you an honest answer because, because of what corruption is and because corrupt people are supposed to be secret. Hence, we can only measure perceived corruption. And in order, though, for Transparency International to do so, each country or territory must show up in at least three different data sets that measure corruption in that country. And then Transparency International combines those three scales for their own score. And the 13 data sources are, number one, African Development Bank, Country Policy and Institutional Assessment, Number two, Bertelsmann Stiftstund Sustainable Governance Indicator. Number three, Bertelsmann Stiftung Transformation Index. Number four, the Economist Intelligence Unit Country Risk Service. Number five, Freedom House Nation in Transit. Number six, Global Insight Country Risk Ratings. Number seven, IMD World Competitiveness Center. World Competitiveness Yearbook Executive Opinion Survey. Number eight, Political and Economic Risk Consultancy Asian Intelligence. Number nine, the PRS Group International Country Risk Guide. Number 10, World Bank Country Policy and Institutional Assessment. Number 11, World Economic Forum Executive Opinion Survey. Number 12, the World Justice Project Rule of Law Index Expert Survey. And number 13, the Varieties of Democracy Index. And so, a country must show up and be ranked in at least three of the above sources. Then Transparency International can create their 0 to 100 scale and ranking on the perceived level of corruption. But since since not all countries show up three times, that's why we only have 180 countries and territories measured. But that's enough for the data talk for now and for today. Let's get to the list. And coming in tied for number 10, with a 17 out of 100, a five-way tie. Burundi, Equatorial Guinea, Haiti, North Korea, and Libya. Now to our bottom five. Number five, with a 16 out of 100, Yemen. Number four, Venezuela, with a 14 out of 100. And tied for number three is South Sudan and Syria, with a 13 out of 100. And number one, Transparency International's most perceived corrupt country in the world, Somalia, with a 12 out of 100. So let's get it again, people. Burundi, Equatorial Guinea, Haiti, North Korea, Libya, Yemen, Venezuela, South Sudan, Syria, and Somalia. All right, so what do we have with this list? We have, we have the Caribbean, we have South America, the Middle East, Africa, East Asia. We have countries all over the world indicating that corruption can show up anywhere. Of course, of course. You know, and five of our countries are in Africa, so we note that for sure. But also, no country has less than a 12 out of 100, meaning no country is seen as absolutely corrupt. That's an important observation. And in fact, our top 10 list fluctuates between a very small range in the 0 to 100 scale. It goes only from 17 to 12. So five points of variation in our most perceived corrupt countries in the world 2022. This means that as far as which of these countries are really number one and which one's number 10, it means there isn't much difference between them at all. Very, very, very little difference. But what, what, what 
is corruption, and why is it important to think about? You know, from the Oxford English Dictionary, corruption is dishonest or illegal behavior, especially of people in authority. And to that we say, vague. That's so vague, but it gives us something to start with. You know, corruption is showing preferential treatment to someone or something. It's, it's breaking the rules or the laws for personal gain. Corruption is cheating. You know, there's political corruption and economic corruption, but really, they're so intermingled. But for a poli sci podcast, political and economic corruption are incredibly important because it means that if corruption is high in a country, that the actual government system doesn't properly function. The government, the bureaucracy, doesn't function right. And when that happens, people see this. And because of this, people don't want to invest in the country. You know, investments, economics, people like to see predictable trends and safe investments. But corruption and high levels of corruption, it doesn't allow for that. And people don't want to invest in a country with high levels of corruption because the cost of doing business is higher and it's a lot more risky of an investment. So that should tell you right there why corruption is important in a country from our view. But I'm not giving you the full answer. I think you got it already, though. Well, not this week. You know, you'll have to wait until next week when we go over the 10 least corrupt countries in the world. Because this... It's just a snap of what's going on in the world today. Lofa Palisade is more than just me. It's the week that we be. Pickering, signing off.